Welcome back everyone. Today we will upgrade our local LLM by enabling function calling so the assistant can query databases or even network devices and return the result directly in the chat. In the last episode, we created a working chat interface using Flask and Olama, but it was only limited to answering based on previous messages only. And that was only function that we uh, made in the previous episode. So today I want to add function calling support uh, to use functions like retrieve data from our devices. Uh, in GNS3, I made a simple lab. We have there are five devices and our bot will have access to our IP interfaces. And in the other function, he will have access to petrol station database to check subnet and location and ID of our petrol station. So let's implement that. So at first let's copy that function. I don't want to change that. And I will create similar function, but ask LLM with tools. And we need to define that tools that uh, our LLM could use. So let's create it here, define tools. So these are the tools we expose to the model. Each one describes a function that LLM can use when the context of user question matches it. Uh, so here we have sample function, a list all petrol stations and it returns a list of devices from all petrol stations with ID, location, subnet and public IP. So this will be data that we have in our uh, MongoDB. So it will be something like we have here. And the next one, we have two functions that will retrieve data from our devices in GNS3. So at first we have something like returning device name, vendor, model, OS version, uptime or serial number. And the third function, we are getting uh, interfaces from all devices. So we will get something like IP address on each interface or information that this interface is up or down. So I will add these functions and we have here something like list all petrol stations and we just returning list uh, with MongoDB database that we are getting everything that's in it. Second, get interfaces from all devices. We are creating Nornir object and in Nornir we have our devices, we have host names with IP addresses, we have groups with password username. So we will connect through SSH to that devices and with Napalm, we're getting just dict with that objects. I will show you what this is returning to us and the get hardware info, we're just getting facts. And the next step, we need to add something in Ask LLM with tools. So we define it that tools here and we need to attach it to the function that is connecting to our LLM that is hosted on my Windows PC. So we need only add tools equals tools and that's all. So we need to change that initial prompt because by changing this prompt we can control the behavior and tone of the AI assistant. In our case we want and the assistants to behave like a professional network engineer. It should respond uh, with short answers and provide only the data that matters, especially when working with Cisco devices and uh, petrol station networks. So I changed that prompt. So I want from him uh, to be a expert assistant that is specialized in Cisco network devices. I want short answers because the answer is formatted using HTML, but we need to change ask LLM with tools here. Now copy that and ask him again. 
And as you can see, he is not responding with any message because he is not returning no content. He wants to use some functions. So, so let's check two calls and now ask him again with the same. So our bot want to use functional list all petrol stations. So we need to give him possibility to do that. So we need to change our code. So I'm creating dict where we have available functions. So we have here list all petrol stations, get device hardware info and uh, get interface from all devices. Then we're going through that tool calls variable so it will be that and we're running that function like here list all petrol stations we got some result here and we are adding this to chat history but role is two content with that result and name with function that we were calling and we're getting summary response from our llm again so now LLM have that data that he took from our tool and he will respond on our question again. So we're getting that final message. We are adding this to our chat history and we are updating our session and returning it to our user so we can check if it will work. Let's copy that question and send it again to our LLM. As you can see, our assistants just retrieved the data from MongoDB and displayed uh, it exactly as we instructed in this prompt uh, here. So the result is structured uh, HTML table format uh, with bootstrap elements. So it looks exactly what we want. And we can now check the other functions that are available here. So right now he should connect to devices that we have here in my lab and he should check the hardware details of each router. And we've got the result in HTML table. So we have host names, so we can get only OS version from it. And as you can see, we have Linux software, we have version right here. So we can check the third function it also should connect to all devices and I see in debug that he's already doing that. He's going through devices and he should show us all IP interfaces across all devices. So let's check for the result. So as you can see, we've got information from all devices. For example, we've got uh, information that on Ethernet 0.0 We've got a public IP with prefix 30. And that information is collected from all our devices in database. So that's all what I want to show you today. So in the next episode, I will show you the full tool with even more built-in functions. And we will explore some examples of the kind of information it can retrieve from our network devices. So it will be only directed to network engineers. So see you soon.